everyone, welcome back. So this came in the mail today. It is the One Wheel Pint. Um, it's got a range of 68 miles, 10 to 13 kilometers. Um, top speed is 60 miles an hour or 26 kilometers per hour. It's got a hypercore brushless motor, so the motor is inside the wheel. It uses the axle to spin. Um, it's got all these other features that I'll show you in a minute. All right, so let's start with opening. So we pull this back. Um, and it came in a bigger box for shipping. Um, but I took that out because that was dirty and all that. I got the slate color, which is nice. So when we open it, it says life is about to get more awesome. I'll show you that. Life is about to get more awesome. Isn't that cool? Oh, it looks so nice. Life is about to get more awesome. When you open it, look what you are greeted with. Look how cool that is. Awesome. So let's take this out. It has this mag handle, which is nice for that wheel speed. So let's start on the left side. You get your owner's manual and probably the charger. Yeah, owner's manual and charger. It says, please recycle. That's a nice touch. So when we open this, you get the owner's manual, um, stickers, charger charger and they give you business cards I and mean, I guess these are cool I guess they free advertising for them nothing else in here um, so what can you have the charger which has little things on the bottom um, yeah so this is a um, input is 100 to 240 volts sorry and output is um, 63 whatever VDC stands for I don't even um, so that's nice and it's got this little adapter like anything would. Um, and I've got the plug for it from the model. They give you some pint sticker, one wheel stickers, owner's manual. I mean, I've already read this online. All right, so here you have the, oh, that's heavy. One wheel pint on the, on the left, as you can see, Gives you all the instructions. Um, let me read what it says. It says, meet your front foot pad. Your front foot pad has two zones, one on each side of the three dots. You see those three dots? So there's sensors, one on each side of those dots. Um, to go, put one foot on each side, power switch cover both sides, and then lean forward. Lean back to slow down. To stop, simple stop. You just lean back, it disengages, falls to the floor. Heel, if you turn off some stuff, you lift your heel from the foot pad and it disengages and it rocks back. Now let's read the back, which seems a lot boring. The basics, getting on, wear a helmet, learn on your thread to get started, come up to balance. So what I've seen is keep your, keep centered over the wheel and once you come up to balance, it'll click and then start working. Ride, lean forward to accelerate, lean back to slow down, so side. So it's kind of like a surfboard or a snowboard simple stop. Um, slow down to stop. When stop, lean back. It'll go back and then go down. Download the app on the Apple Play Store or Google Play. I've already downloaded the app. Go to onewheel.com slash support to see videos. R risk of death or serious injury. Um, so I guess they want to tell you that. So let's take these off. So it looks like they stick these off. Um, and you can do all types of sections from like rail guards to fenders. I do have a fender, um, Craft and Ride. Give me a fender, I will be doing a review on that soon. Stay tuned, if you wanna see that video, hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos on the one wheel. Um, what videos including, you know, first learning how to ride it, getting better. It looks like to pump this up, you just use like a bike thing. Um, it's a nice tire. Um, but yeah, I've got that uh, from Craft and Ride. So thanks so much to Craft and Ride for sending that over. Um, and stay tuned for the video on that. But you have the owner's manual. Like they give you, uh, they give you like little cards. It's so silly. Stickers. So here's the first one, pint. Then the second one, just the one wheel logo. Third one, smaller one wheel logo. Then you have the pint. Home charger, or you can get the little charger and then just a little cable. Lights, front, 
and back. And I think these lights, yeah, they intelligently switch between red and um, white, whichever way you're running. So I will, oh, grip tape is very grippy. All right, so I'll charge this and I'll come back and tell you guys which, what I think once I'm ready. See ya. All right, so now it's charged. Um, so as you can see, to turn it on, you just press the button here. Lights turn on, red light, and these lights flip. So now this is red and this is white. So as you can see, it's the light bar. And if you have one, see it's now telling me I only have left. Now it's only telling me I have right. And then um, when you turn it on, let me turn it off. When you turn it on, you see how it flashes magenta. That says simple stop is activated. So what simple stop is, so you apply even pressure to both sides, bring it to level, now it's activated. And then when you go back, simple stop just means it stops. Whereas if you don't have that activated, to go back, you would raise your heel off one of the pads, it disengages, and you can put it back down. So this is pretty much it. It's got this mag handle. It's pretty ergonomic, but it is heavy. I would not recommend wanting to carry this around. It's very nimble. So in the next video, expect a first rides and first impressions this was just you know the unboxing and first impressions handles nice it goes back in with magnets please subscribe and turn on post notifications to the bell icon also towards you know a week or two weeks from now i will have a review of the you know the putting on and the review of the craft and ride magnetic spectrum fender and um, if you want to check that out now i'll have the link to that in the description I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.